I can't know Wofford is clearly a kid who knows a lot more than football. You can't get recruited, much less offered from schools like Harvard, Yale, and Rice and Stanford without knowing your differentials from your derivatives. But when you're a player on and off the field, you got options. Hey guys, my name is Kenna Wofford. I go to Cistercian Prep in uh, Irving, Texas, and I'll be a rising senior. So uh, I wake up around 7.45, 8 o'clock, and I uh, take a shower, come downstairs. Normally when I come down, mom has some sort of like hot breakfast ready. It's uh, pancakes, eggs, sausage, waffles, uh, French dust, you know, something different every day. After breakfast, uh, say goodbye, go off, start my day. So I'm uh, heading off to practice right now, morning workouts, uh, get our lift on, get our swole on. So that's pretty much it right now. When we go to work out, first hour is lifting session. So we usually get our upper body, lower body, and the supplementals. And then after the first hour, second hour is running. That's hard, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, it's getting us ready for the season. Kenna uh, is a kid that has exceptional strength. Uh, his speed is really unheard of for a player his size. Uh, and he has a lot of natural raw ability as well. On top of being a, a solid athlete, I think he's an even better person and, and a great student, which uh, that's what we're most proud of, him being a good person and a solid student as well. So uh, after I get home, I come to say hi to my parents, brothers, and uh, change. Then I head out on the golf cart, go to the club across the street from my house, and uh, get a little workout going, uh, shoot hoops, get warmed up, uh, play some basketball, get ready. And then I go to the uh, gym and uh, lift some weights, do some light, light weights, get some upper body, and uh, whatever else I feel like doing that day. Outside of school, I like to do a lot of uh, volunteer work. Uh, we have a local thrift store run by the Catholic Diocese, and I volunteer there. We just go sign up for hours whenever you want to work. We're doing this Eagle Scout project here, the Dallas Cathedral, and uh, we're putting in new concrete steps, rebar, and we're going to put a little garden in the side. I join this takeoff a few weekends, join the school year and go, volunteer there, do whatever they need you to do. Well, uh, the recruiting process for me, it was, uh, it was really crazy actually. I went to the Next Level Athlete Showcase and uh, I had a good performance there. Uh, my film was sent off and uh, that's when school started uh, paying attention, they started looking into me. And um, the last part, man, got really crazy. Visitors come in all the time, um, come in interrupting classes. And it was difficult for my school because we never really had any big star athletes being recruited out of Cistercian, so it was something new for the administration to handle. Eventually, uh, Stanford came along, and um, I was really excited. It had uh, been my number one for a while. After uh, I went up there, I got to see the campus, but it was beautiful, and I definitely saw myself there for the next four to five years, a place where I could succeed and do well academically, athletically. It just, it was everything I, I wanted and more. My advice to the younger athletes thinking about playing college football, but uh, it's pretty simple. Um, first of all, you gotta keep your grades up. It makes, your, it makes you more marketable to the university. They don't wanna have a student that they have to worry about whether or not he's gonna pass and uh, be able to play. Uh, that would be first and foremost. Uh, second of all, um, never give up. Um, originally, some of the schools I wanted didn't want me in the recruiting process, but um, you keep working hard, you have a good season, you go to camps, and uh, show off how good of an athlete you are, they will pay attention eventually.